You have sprinkles in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> she reaches up and finds a treasure trove of sugar stuck in her bangs. Ah, uh-huh, so I do. I mean, I mean it though. Got it? Yeah, thanks. Got any room for another at this table? Huh, I guess there weren't too many left after all. I glance downstairs and it looks like he's already locked the door. Oh, uh, always. Laundry, uh, Lula. Landry. <laughs> Landry. Can't, I can't get it in my head. Hello, Landry. <laughs> <laughs> Landry scoots a chair next to me. I guess the cafe's closed now. I expect you all won't spend too much time lollygagging. We have clean-up to do. There. <laughs> Fuck your face. Dad. She's dead. I think, I think it's, she says oh, okay, 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 that's fine. <laughs> it's a weird game. You never know. Jeez, Dad. Lollygagging? Really? I don't, I don't know. It's the first thing word that came to mind. Reese, why don't you sit with us two? We could all use a break. I suppose so. Where are Hazel Mason? Oh, you know Mason. She's probably already gone. She doesn't stick around after shifts to help the clean up. She gets here earlier than any of us have prepped, so it's only fair she leaves early. Besides, I think she has something that she does after work. What? As a cat? Hey, don't judge. I wonder what kind of cat she is, anyway. It feels kind of rude to think that, but you know what they say about curiosity in cats. I should see if she's here to... If she's here, to thank her for her work. I'll be right back. Tell her to come join us if you see him. You got it. Wow, the kitchen is pretty clean already. Was Mason that quick? Oh, there she is. I caught her before she could go. Mason. What? Oh, um, you really busted your butt today. Thank you. It's my job. She's already got one foot out the door. She seems irritated that I interrupted her. Uh, I'm a little bit scared of her, so have a good night. <laughs> uh, well, have a good night. Hmm. And with that, she's gone. Boy, she's hard to talk to. She disappears around the corner, but a second later I catch a glimpse of a lanky orange cat with a crooked tail. Maybe that's her. It looks like she's heading the same direction as my apartment. I wonder if we're neighbours. Probably not, that's kind of silly to assume. When I get back to the kitchen, I hear the sink running. It looks like Hayes is doing the rest of the dishes. Why doesn't he come out with the others? Poor boy deserves a break as much as the rest of us. If everyone's a fat, if everyone's a family, like Finley said, he should be a part of it too. Uh, yeah, help with the dishes. I guess we could do this real quick though. Hey, let me help with that. You can't do all those by yourself. No, you, you don't have to. Yeah, I do. I'm going to feel bad leaving you in here by yourself. I like it that way. Too bad, because I'm here. I'd totally do that. <laughs> he turns the sink back on and looks away from me. I guess I was a little forceful. He's acting like I scolded him. We do the dishes together quietly. He washes, I dry. This is really awkward. <laughs> so, Hayes looks startled, like I just shouted at him. I was only trying to break the silence. But maybe I should have had a good follow-up. You been working here long? <laughs> it's, like, it's like the co-worker version of come here often. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nailed it. I suppose so. How long is that? Two months. I get my blood from a stone. Shall I leave him alone after all? That's cool. Yeah. And that's it, huh? <laughs> Awkward. We finish up the dishes without much else by way of talking. Great. Alright, I'm going to go back out and sit with the others for a bit. You coming? Sure. Red head out, quietly. <laughs> I click, damn it. <laughs> I grab a cup of coffee on my way back. I'm going to need a coffee after this. I grab a cup of <laughs> coffee on my way back to the cafe. He slips upstairs, probably to get a cup of much better coffee. I head back upstairs, coffee in hand, and return to my seat. Hayes follows shortly after and sits at the table next to us. I reach out and drag his table a little closer to us. We all sit and talk over coffee for a while. We divide the tips, careful to leave a separate stack for Mason when she gets into one. It's getting pretty dark. I should get going soon. I say goodbye to everyone and head out. They're all staying late again. I can understand that. Of course they want to be human for as long as possible. I'm going to enjoy this while I can. Gravity of the situation weighs on me as soon as I'm out the door. What the hell am I going to do once I start turning to a cat? How can I explain that? Nobody will believe me. Meow. Meow, meow. The thought flies <laughs> out of my head. <laughs> that black cat with the old eyes is back. 
sits in, why does she not know who it is it sits in the middle of the road Someone, something dangles from its mouth but I can't tell what quit it graves oh, she does. I know that's you hmm. the black cat stares back at me passively playing dumb isn't going to work the black cat flops on the pavement and splays out its legs it's not even looking at me maybe I'm off on this hot tip after all uh, I guess sometimes a cat is just a cat everything's getting to me all the more reason to go home and get some sleep I'm almost home now I should figure out what I'm going to do for din <laughs> ah <laughs> something just hit my back get it off get it off get it off there's something in your hair get it get it get it <laughs> wait it's gone I see the black cat at my feet what the hell damn it Graves I don't care if this cat is Graves or not call it that until I'm proven wrong meow <laughs> The black cat trots off somewhere. Was it just me or did that sound like someone saying the word meow? Worse than that, it sounded kind of smug. <laughs> 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 meow. Meow. <laughs> Graves? Probably about right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's not him. Maybe I just smell like a cat and it attracts other cats now? I better get home before I'm jumped by more strays. I run the rest of the way home and slam the door behind me. I can't take this. If my hair wasn't already white, it would be turning that way. You're like... <laughs> eh? Who said that? I look down. <laughs> Mochi's Mo- Mo- fat face is looking up at me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing this. I dump some people at Mochi's bowl and go to my room and close the door behind me. Shams on my twelve pyjamas. When I bundle up my hoodie, I fill a firm, squarish bulge in the pocket. That's right, the book! Maybe something useful is in here. I start to flip through the book again. There's my name. And there's Hayes, Finley, Mason, Landry, Reese. There must be a clue of some kind, but I don't know what it's supposed to say. Oh, I toss my... I wasn't finished. <laughs> all these words look like they've been written by birds oh, hopping around in ink. That's all right. I toss my hoodie on the floor and get to work. Maybe I can decipher it. If I hold the book upside down... No. Is there a cipher? No. I don't know why I bothered looking. Of course it won't be that easy. I try for another 20 minutes or so, but it's useless. Ah, oh, I give up. Frustrated, I drop the book. It hits my hoodie and ungracefully un- tumbles over. Mm-hmm. I shuffle them away with my foot and something tumbles out. What's that? Looks like it fell out the hood. A bookmark? Did I leave it there? Why would I put anything there? I pick it up. It looks like it's got some weird holographic centre. It's kind of pretty. I should put it, I should bring it back to the cafe tomorrow along with that stupid book. I go to set the bookmark into it for safekeeping, but. Ah, oh, that's awesome! Hold up. I can read for this. I don't know how it got there, but it's the key to reading this book. The Hallowed Covenant of Witchery. What? Reese did say something about witches the other day. This might be a good lead to whatever's going on. I settle in with the book and start from the beginning. <laughs> Frowny, 100%. <laughs> That's a very good read. I've been doing this for days now. I wake up, go to work, come home, lose myself in the grim- grimoire, and barely make it to bed right before the sun comes back up. Lardo, rinse, repeat. Listen to me. I'm calling this thing a gr- grimoire. I can't get my mouth around that word. I can't stop reading this damn book or mumbling to myself, I guess. But seriously, there's all this stuff about witches, covens, powers. I've never seen anything like it. Sometimes I don't even understand the words on the page, but they make me feel strange when I read. Powerful, I guess. Like if I keep going, I'll suddenly click into place and I'll learn something unknowable. It's getting to me, though. I feel haggard, and my co-workers have pointed out I'm getting some wicked bag- bags under my eyes. I haven't told them about the book. I bet they think I've just been up playing video games or something. Meh. Nah. <laughs> What's with you? You're so friendly, le- friendly lately. Since when do you sit in laps? They do say some witches get familiars. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Not becoming a witch. I've been trying some of the stuff in the book out though. Just a bit? You can't blame me for that. Hear me out, but I think I've managed to move a colo curtain with magic. I totally waste magic on something like that too. Maybe it was. <laughs> I should put something like that in the Where's force. Where's the changer? <laughs> oh, it's too far away. <laughs> Where's my phone? It's over there. Done. Maybe it was balanced weirdly or something and fell on its own, but I, th- I reckon it worked. I've definitely been reading this gibberish book for too long. I should stretch my legs or something. Right, Mochi? Ma. 
See, even Mitch agrees with me. He hates exercise. <laughs> hey, it's actually pretty early. Read a dusty tomb when I actually reset my sleep schedule to a normal one. I'm going to celebrate with some coffee, breakfast, and a nice walk. When did I become a coffee drinker anyway? <laughs> this is exactly what happened to me. It's not bad at all now I've gotten used to it. The stuff I drink is actually a real shade of tan now. Almost. My palate is refining every day. I kind of just want a big old cheese danish or something too. There's that corner store down the road. I've been in there for a lot of stuff and their breakfast pastries look really good. <sighs> I could also just stop by the cafe. It's closed to customers today but I bet someone's hanging around who can make me a nice fancy coffee or something. Uh, hmm. Don't have to pay if I go to work. Just go to work. You know what? Why, why waste money when I get some coffee for free at the cafe? I'm still not real great on that water coffee grounds ratio, but the better I learn with myself than with customers, right? Last time I tried to make coffee was a disaster. It came out as this gross brown water. It's just coffee, isn't it? Yeah, I really have to learn to do this right. Ha! Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here yet. There are some lights on the cafe on the floor above, but I don't see anyone moving around inside. Maybe I was wrong about people coming here on their days off. Is it? Is it really just going to be me hanging at work? I've got nothing better to do. Alright, I'll just go make some coffee and then figure out what else to do for the day. Luckily, I just got my key. I can unlock the door and let myself in. Even though there are no people here, the cafe still feels busy with all these cats running around. Cut it. <laughs> there goes Hash Browns, bossing around, bossing around some other cat like usual. Now is making eyes at his own reflection in the floor. Kotick's in a cute little ball by the window. Is it that, 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 one, maybe? that one? Yeah. Um, Marina and Ain are catching some sun. Maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know. There's one down here. That's the one curled up, yeah. Ah, oh, Junta has paw around one of the other cats like this goonie. Who is it? I peek in closer to get a look and maybe a photo. When I see that little seal point nose sticking out, I pause. Is that Hayes? Hayes? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. His ear flicks and one eye shoots open. It looks like he takes a moment to register what's happening, but once he does, his eyes dilate to the size of saucers. Uh, hey, Avery. <laughs> a sail puffs up and he backs away from Junta at surprise and speed. He bumps into the wall and then hops a solid six inches in the air in shock. Hey, he's calm down. It's just me. I just, I, just was crying a lot. Then uh, I just sort of, oh, please don't make fun of me. Oh, that's such a cute. Junta is one of our newest cats. He's a sweetheart stray we found wandering the streets, but he scares easily, so he gets clingy sometimes. Why would I do that? That was really sweet of you. Slowly, I reach down and scratch Junta behind the ears. He's confused by all the commotion, but doesn't seem too stressed about it. Bye. You're so thoughtful about the cats. It's great. I guess so. Thanks. I'm jealous, actually. I wish I could sleep in a pile of cats. It's, it's been, it is pretty nice. He seems to have calmed down a bit, thanks. That voice reminds me of something, but I can't place what it is. How about some coffee? I could go for a cup, and I bet you could too. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to change back. <laughs> Don't look, okay? You got it. Despite being around all these cursed cat people, I've never seen transformation in progress. Maybe it's not something I'm supposed to see. Anyway, it's probably rude and creepy as watching someone get changed, so I'm not about to peek. Okay. It's like a, cap a cappuccino? Or I'll go make I'll go make us some coffee. That sounds great. Thank you. Score, I don't have to mess with the coffee machine John, after all. This is new. I've not actually. I've not seen this arc. Haven't you? No. I'll see. I sink into my favourite spot on the big circle couch and take a big old sip of my coffee. I've seen. I've seen the Finley arc, and okay. I've seen the Mason arc. I haven't seen. You haven't, have you stumbled arc. on the Hayes arc? Potentially. Yeah, there's so many different options. You have to. Get, you have to get the right options at the right point to get uh, to all the different okay. places. And I've no idea where any of them are. <laughs> oh, Avery, you're here early. Yeah, I thought I'd come and see what everyone's doing. Or I've been cooped up in my house too long. It's good to see you. I'll be around doing some handiwork, but let me know if you need anything. Oh, don't worry about me. It sounds like you'll be busy now. There's a door again. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, Avery, what breed are you? Do you know yet? Uh, excuse me? Cats. I 
mean, sorry, is it still a sensitive subject? No, nothing's happened to me since the day I grew the whisker. I figured it'd take more time. That's strange, it turned in about a week. Yeah, me too. Hayes nods from the other couch. It's probably the first time everybody's slow on the uptake. I slap him. <laughs> but you it's just not D&D. <laughs> <laughs> It's set things in this. <laughs> Dang. Well, you just stand in there waiting for the chance to say something like that. Of course, no. 